the earnest money is there if in contingency is passed correct and the buyer then defaults then typically that's the best uh, opportunity for a seller to keep earnest money but even in that scenario it gets messy because super messy um, because before the escrow we can disperse funds they have to get written authorization mm. from both parties mm -hmm. uh, so that means if there's going to be a fight for earnest money it's gonna almost always lead to litigation yeah. now uh, maybe the one uh, benefit I see for a large amount of earnest money is that the buyer would probably not walk on something that's could go against them and they have to give up that large earnest money mm -hmm. where uh, if they litigated it the buyer could lose because what we see a lot of at best is the splitting of earnest money right. to get right. both people to go aside mm -hmm. but a challenge that we've seen at least in the past is um, uh, buyers or sellers are afraid that if there's litigation involved in 